Tilly, hello. Good morning. <laughs> Coming downstairs every morning to this just makes me so happy. Honestly, having our pergola built and this little area that we've created here and like the olive tree and the furniture just makes such a difference to our kitchen diner. Like having that there, I feel like just makes it so much cozier and oh, it just looks so nice. Good morning, my loves. I hope you're all really well. <clears throat> my voice is, there's something wrong with my voice today. I'm up early this morning. It is currently eight. I feel like I have already had a really productive morning. Um, Jamie actually has Noah this morning, so I'm like, right, I need to try and get as much done as possible. We have a food shopping delivery coming very soon because I had to make this smoothie out of literally things left in the fridge. This green smoothie that I absolutely love, that I've been trying to have most days. I was gonna say most mornings, but to be honest, do I get time to make a smoothie in the morning? Absolutely not. At some point in the day, I try and have a green smoothie because it's just a really quick and easy way for me to like get loads of goodness in my body. Um, so I actually have the recipe on my phone. I will, I made it up, right? Forever and ever and ever, I've really wanted to have like a nice green smoothie recipe that doesn't taste like earth. Um, and after playing about for literally the longest time, I actually found the secret recipe, which is oat milk. Oat milk makes a green smoothie it's so much creamier, so much sweeter, and actually like makes it taste nice. Yeah, I popped the recipe on screen for the really, really nice green smoothie. You need to try it. Um, the protein yogurt I use is, don't mind my empty packet of yogurt I've just used, these ones, the vanilla flavoured ones, they're low sugar, high in protein and they make your smoothie just like really thick and again I feel like it just adds like a little bit of sweetness to it. This one this morning is a concoction of things from the fridge that I didn't want to waste and wanted to use up. So we've got celery, cucumber, green apple, oat milk, a protein yogurt. actually really nice oh and a banana i feel like that's why it's very sweet and it's like a banana that's almost like composted food shopping has just arrived so i picked up lots of veg um mainly stuff for my green smoothies so i got lemons cucumber celery spinach um, more lemons because I'm going to be making my lemon and ginger tonic today which I haven't made in ages so I got lots of ginger and lemons for that then we've got some kale some bananas I got these ripe bananas because I'm actually gonna um, pop these in freezer bags and put them in the freezer to make frozen bananas for smoothies then I got a load of tender stem broccoli for dinners this week cherries because I feel like cherries are in season these are so good at the moment I got some mango sticks great to just snack on in the fridge some blueberries um, green apples for smoothies then I got a little top up of these vanilla protein yogurts so I got some chicken breasts I got some microwave rice then I also got some yogurts so I can have fruit and yogurts, um, some nuts, I got some pecans, some cashew nuts, some desiccated coconut because I'm planning on making some chia seed puddings. Look at these, never seen so flora wipes before. Maybe I'm extremely late to the party, but Midnight Blooms is my favorite scent ever. So I thought I'd get a pack of these for me and my mum because that's also her favorite scent. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm kind of sad about this. So you know when you do an online food shop, sometimes they send substitutes. I had ordered five of these because we tried them from Sainsbury's last week and they were unreal, but... <laughs> I think they substituted different type. So if you guys see these in Sainsbury's, the chicken teriyaki bowl is 
oh my god so yummy and also really healthy and like i said really quick and easy either lunch or dinner um but i got the naked pulled pork burrito ones instead which i'm kind of sad about but they do look nice almond milk this is for smoothies for the chia seed puddings and jamie has this in his morning shake and round this side a new addition to my weekly food shop is all of noe's little bits um i've tried and tested a lot of nappies now and these are by far my favorites these and the morrison's um morrison's own ones these are like two pounds and you get loads in here you get 46 nappies um two pounds we are getting through so many nappies at the moment so finding nappies that don't leak um and are pretty affordable is like key Noah's probably getting through like 10 or 12 nappies a day at the moment. So these really don't last long. And the ones I was getting before, um, the, I can't even remember what they're called, but they were like six pounds a packet, which is just no. Then I also got as well, just a top up of wipes, some more little bath sponges. Got a top up of his formula. And then I also got the saline spray. This is the one I spoke about in my last vlog, no, he gets like extremely congested a lot where his nose is just like so blocked and I find giving him um, just one spray up each nostril each morning, well on the days he's congested which isn't every day, um, really helps like clears his nostrils out so much and he can breathe so much easier. <laughs> Look at my new phone case. Isn't it amazing? It's got loads of tiny cats on it. This is like my dream phone case. I feel like this is me, a true representation of my personality, which is crazy cat lady. I also picked up some other cases. I got this one for me as well, which I absolutely love. I think it's a little bit different. I love these cute little stickers on here. Then I also as well picked up these two. This one is an Android phone case. Case if I have so many different cases for iPhone and also Android. So I picked this one up for my mum because I noticed my mum's phone case is like so old. So I thought I'd get her a new one as a little gift. And then I also as well got this one for Jamie. Um, it's actually his birthday in the middle of the month. So I thought this would be a nice little gift. And I actually think a phone case is such a lovely gift. I think it's a very personal gift. Um, and also as well, all of the cases come in almost like this gift wrap, which again, I think makes it look really nice and special. You can also personalize your phone case as well. So if you wanna make it a little bit more personal to the person you're buying for, or even to yourself, you can add personalization. So all of the packaging is 100% recyclable, made with recycled paper and also non-toxic soy ink. I will leave a direct link down below for Case Defy. If you click on that link, you will actually get 15% off your order, which is amazing. Like I said, they have so many different cases. They literally have a print case for everyone, like so many different kinds, so many different prints, so many different colors. Um, they also have mirror cases, which are really cool. They also have leather ones with the strap, which I've got and I use all the time. Case Defy also actually have loads of different ranges, including the new Impact and Ultra Impact cases, which are made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials. Case Defy also have fully compostable cases and crush cases, which are made from partially upcycled phone cases. Also, if you are really prone to having a damaged phone, I feel like I always used to have a cracked phone screen. Have a look at the ultra impact cases because you can actually drop your phone from up to 9.8 feet and your phone will be protected. Yeah, like I said, I will leave a direct link down below and if you click that link, you will get 15% off your case to buy order. Good morning, happy Saturday. Um, bit of change scenery guys we are in manchester it's currently eight in the morning i've literally just woken up and i did not get much sleep last night at all so please excuse the fact i look like a zombie 
Um, but yeah, we're in Manchester. We actually have a Girl of Muse photo shoot today, which is so exciting. We're shooting our second part of our soul collection, um, which, listen, we've saved the best till last. You guys are going to love it. So that will be launching at the end of this month. So we've got a photo shoot today. Um, we have Noah with us. This is our first little, our first little family outing. Um, I had planned to pick up the camera yesterday as you guys would have seen we've skipped today um because we planned <laughs> to leave ours at like two in the afternoon yesterday get to our airbnb for about six and then like order takeaway and having like a nice little evening get an early night that did not go to plan at all um so we got to our airbnb about seven um and guys <laughs> Me and Jamie are not ones to complain. I feel like it has to be really bad for us to complain. Like, we'll kind of just get on with it. Um, but our Airbnb was bad. Like, bad. It looked nothing like the pictures. It was so dirty. Like, every inch of it was so just, like, so, so bad. Um... There were like fag butts everywhere and like cigarette stamps in the carpet. The bathroom was, it, it just was like, it was unstable in. And I feel like me and Jamie are not ones to complain. So it has to be bad for us to complain. There were also no blinds on any of the windows. They'd been like ripped off. So obviously it gets lighter like 4am. We have Noah with us as well. Um, and I feel like if it was just me and Jamie, we probably would have just like been like, Do you know what? It's too much hassle to move. Let's just stay here. But because Noah was with us, I just felt like, I don't know. I feel like you worry about a lot more naturally. So, um, that was a whole process to get moved. Um, but long, very long story short, we ended up being moved to another room because basically this airbnb isn't like independent people it's like an apartment block that have about like i don't know how many but they put some of their apartments on airbnb so it is an actual company which is so lucky because it would have if it would have just been an independent owner there's no way we would have been able to get another room and obviously by this point um of complaining and stuff it was like nine o'clock at night and getting another place in manchester on a friday night would have been so hard and also as well like it wasn't cheap i think it was about 195 pounds a night so yeah it, it it was bad so we're now in a new a new place which was only like around the corner which was so lucky so i'm just grateful to be um somewhere different because i don't feel like i would have got any sleep there I've got a little uh, travel cart, actually, I'll show you guys it. Little bits that we bought with us that have been so useful. So I bought this little bedside cot and it like folds up, um, which is amazing and so portable. Cause obviously the one we've got at home is, it's not really made for like, it, it's not a travel cot, um, but this one's great and it like rocks. I did it at night and it literally came next day. So I'll link this one down below. It also comes with a hood um with some little like baby gym bits for more like daytime but i'm gonna take this to the photo shoot with us so he can have a little nap there and then also these have been really handy for kind of like on the go sterilizing so literally you get a pack of these bags you fill them up with bottles dummies whatever you need to sterilize pop a little bit of um, water in there i think it's 60 ml of water and then you pop it in the microwave for five minutes Leave it for a few minutes and then drain it. The drain, like, it come, the water comes out of here, it's really good. Obviously, we've got our big UV sterilizer at home, but it's not portable at all, like, it's huge. Um, so these have been really great just to bring with us. So yeah, plan for this morning is, I've literally just got out of bed, made myself a coffee, obviously. Noah's actually still asleep and this never happens, so I'm like, right, I need to think of all the things I wanna get done before he wakes up. So I think I'm gonna, like, jump in the shower, I think he's awake. That little devil. He heard me talking. Dog's alarm. He's not awake. He's just kind of like sleep talking, just going like ah, in his sleep. Um, oh my god, I walked. I walked past him earlier because I got up, made myself coffee, went back in to check on him, and he was like smiling in his sleep. He was just laid there like, 
But yeah, we'll obviously take you guys over to the photo shoot, give you some sneak peeks. I'm excited for you to see the second part of our soul collection. Um, our soul collection is basically what we want to always be on the website. <clears throat> wow we always want to be on the website um so it's like our sole collection so there's always something on the website we launched this collection sold out once restocked sold out twice and then the third time we put in the biggest order we've ever ordered of clothes and we decided to just keep them on the website so we've always got like our essentials this jumper is part of our essentials we've got jersey shorts um joggers half zips like there's a lot and this second part that we're shooting today is going to be added to that um and there's a few things in that that you guys have been asking for for a really really long time so i hope you love them we also finished as well our planning for our autumn collection um on thursday so yeah you guys are gonna love that like oh cozy and i feel like it's very me and it that there are pieces in that collection that i feel like i look for every autumn but can never find so yeah exciting things ahead um anyway i'm gonna go and check on noah good morning sweet pea good morning you sleep well oh he's doing that little smile why does that actually melt my heart i know it's just wind but i'll take it i'll take it for a smile wow you ready for your first ever photo shoot you ready <laughs> He's been so good, guys, like, coming away. I know, obviously, he doesn't know that we're away from home, but you've been a little angel, haven't you? You've been so good. Oh, right, I'm going to get this little one fed and changed and settled, and I will see you guys at our photo shoot, won't we? <laughs> Press record, Jamie. She says, "Here we are. Welcome to the Girl and Muse photo shoot. Going to introduce you to the crew. Cheers, star of the show, Gemma. Little Noe. Come along for the day. See, we've got top model Elise. How's it going today? Good, thank you. No pressure. Kareen, top hair and makeup. There we go. Give him a little shake. Phoebe." Just moving boards around, grafting, as you do. Like, get out of here with a camera. <laughs> Emma. Hello. Brand assistant, steaming. Top Make sure steamer. All, yeah, top steamer. steamer, making sure all the clothing is pristine. And obviously, man of the minute, Andy. Sorting out his uh, videography and am I doing an all right job here with the angles and stuff, Andy? <laughs> Give me a few pointers. <laughs> and here we are, getting ready to shoot some pieces. We may not get any photography done today because look what's happening. Everyone apart from Andy who's not interested in fighting. So. I get it, I understand that. Get that camera out of my face, guys. <laughs> Noe's made a decision that Discovery. we need to get a skylight. He's absolutely mesmerised by it. <laughs> Look at him. Loves it. He doesn't want to take his eyes off it every time you try and move his little head. He's like, nope, I want to look at the skylight. Wow. <laughs> Loves it. Do you love it? Oh, His little neck is so strong. <laughs> Something I get very excited about on shoot days. They always have a different flavoured water here. Last time it was cucumber and mint. Today we've got a bit of grapefruit, a bit of lemon. It's so nice. We need to get one of these at home. It's literally the most refreshing thing ever. It's the only reason we come. <laughs> we just come for the water. Dad life over there. <laughs> <laughs> and now 
now back at our little humble abode and we're gonna have a chilled evening we're gonna basically do tonight what we were hoping to do last night um and look what jamie found in the little nisa which is like right next to here isn't it the people it who live in this building they're living the dream having it i know <laughs> we have to travel like far a far and wide hunt far and wide Find. far and wide so Far and wide? Is that even the thing? <laughs> far and wide, yeah. Yeah, far and wide deprived. to track one of these down. <gasps> Stranger Things. Jamie's just having a look on Netflix. Um, what were you going to watch? Ah, uh, the uh, poly poly polygamists. Oh, what my are they God. called? I don't know. We started watching this series the other day on Netflix, and it's called. I hang on. What it's called. I can find it on my phone because someone's left their Netflix logged in on the TV, it's a rookie error. Rookie, rookie, rookie error. Would have been us. It would have been us. So it's called Keep Sweet, Pray and Obey. Oh my God, how good is it? It's like so Keep sweet. creepy and also like really sad as well, but really, really, really interesting. Um, it's just um, quite mad how one person can get away with such a huge scale. I know. People trafficking, basically. It's it's so sad, but it's like so just like eye opening. I can't. I can't actually. I feel like my paper straw might have. It was stuck, and then I just got the huge spit through. What colour ice blast do you guys have? What me and Noe? <laughs> We have blue. Jamie has a blue. I go for pink. I just love the cherry. Oh, you stood me up. Oh, sorry. I didn't know you were coming in for a cheers. Um, I, I do like a mix, but it's either all pink or mixed. So our plan for this evening is, now he's just had a change and a bottle. Um, I'm going to make his bottles and then we are going to order... <gasps> I just remembered that we're not at home. Well, I know we're not at home, but this we can browse. Slow, the it's remote's really, delayed. really slow. We're in Manchester and that <clears> means <throat> one thing. The Just Eat, Uber Eats and Deliveroo is amazing. Because we're not in the sticks. Amazing. Where we live, we literally have like f like four or five. And let's be honest. Things on Just Eat. Um, they're and not great. They're not great. They're, they're really not great. I feel like we don't actually really like them that much. We just Which order from them because I don't know. I need to check on my phone. I think okay. it might be four or five. I'll have a look in a minute. You check in a minute. Um, it's set up anyway. <gasps> there's only part. There's only four parts. I think we're on the last part. Oh, joking. Oh, do you know what, what we're we have to watch do? instead? No. The last two episodes of Stranger Things. I'm knackered, by the way. We told the story of what happened last night. Mm. Yeah. There was blood in the bar. I didn't go into that much detail. There was like cigarette burns in the carpet, stains in the carpet, dirty, bloody, just cocoa. Well, when you were on the phone to Airbnb, you described the stains in the carpet as feces. Well, it looked like... <laughs> There's feces in the carpet. Um, so, so yeah. we got moved at 12 o'clock last night. And then it just didn't... Mm -mm. Oh, I did this thing, what I never do, so I thought, because I was, it was so late, I thought I'd go to bed without a shower. And never go to bed without a shower. Oh, it, it just didn't work. I was like, I felt gross, so I had to get up at like four o'clock in the morning for a shower. I just remember like changing Noe's nappy and Jamie like sprung out of bed. You know, like somehow someone's having a nightmare, they like sit up really quickly. And you were like, I need to have a shower. And you like walked <laughs> over me and Noe, you like stepped over us and just got in the shower. And I was a bit delirious it anyway. Was I was just like. There. I just laid there, like trying to be like, it's okay, I didn't need a shower. It's I've not got cold. germs crawling all over like me, it's fine. Itching and stuff. I was like, it's okay, it's okay. But in the end. And then you just were like, I need to go. I feel like I've done that before. Why haven't I learned my lesson? Just always shower, go to bed. No way. Hey. Oh. Sitting on his bench. He looks so cute. Oh, he's been so good today, hasn't he? Yeah. I was a little bit like nervous about him coming to the photo shoot just in case he couldn't settle. Um, but he literally was loving life. Kareen fed him. He was getting all the attention. Yes. Yeah. He he was just loving life, and then he just. 
was kind of like laid there just looking around. Um, good little boy. So yeah, I've just loaded up Uber Eats and I'm very <coughs> excited to see the selection, to be honest. We are now home, sweet home. I'm so happy to be here, guys. I know we've only been away for two nights, but it just feels oh, so nice coming back home. Um, we've also skipped yet another day. It's now Monday afternoon. Um, last time I spoke to you guys was Saturday evening. Yesterday, we spent the entire day just kind of like traveling back we're actually about probably about like four and a half hours from manchester but it ended up taking five and a half i think to get home obviously because we made quite a lot of stops for noah just to get him out the car um and obviously like go for toilet breaks and stuff like that so ended up traveling pretty much the entire day then we got home and we got sorted for the evening, had an early night and finished season four of Stranger Things, which I'm so sad about. Like, I woke up this morning and thought, my life feels empty now Stranger Things is gone. I just think it's always going to be such, it's a very nostalgic um, series anyway, and it just makes me feel like warm and fuzzy inside. But it means so much more to me because we actually started Stranger Things, like the entire um, series, towards the end of my pregnancy and we've been watching it throughout. So literally as I was going into labour, we were watching Stranger Things, like on the Monday we were watching Stranger Things when I started having contractions. We, st we were watching it in hospital after I'd just given birth, which do you know what, like I probably wouldn't recommend watching season four if you've seen season four, you will know, but when the upside down was ripping open, I felt like kind of like, I was like, I relate to that. That feels like me right now. I'm sad it's over. It's always gonna hold such a special place in my heart because that was the series that, it's just gonna hold so many memories. Like I gave birth and then watched Stranger Things. So yeah, if you haven't seen it, would highly recommend, even if you don't really like, sci-fi kind of things i am not like a i'm not like a sci-fi alien zombie kind of girl like i just don't really enjoy those kind of programs but stranger things is so much more than that like it's so nostalgic it's such a cozy program with like obviously elements of sci-fi but yeah if you i was put off i was put off it for years um, and I used to hear everyone go on about it and I used to just think no it's not for me and we just started watching it and it's actually up there with Breaking Bad it's one of my favourite series ever um, I can just hear like cats and Noah in the background I think he's he's just I have just put him down for a nap so sometimes he does this thing where he he's not really cry I mean that sounds like a cry He's kind of just stirring, but I found if I leave him for like a minute, which I feel awful for, like I never want to leave my baby when he's crying, but I found if I go and get him out his cot straight away, it really wakes him up. Whereas if I leave him for like a minute and he's doing the kind of like stirring, he will fall back to sleep. Um, like, let me just poke my head around the door and he just need to make sure. Oh. See, his eyes are closed. And he does look asleep. So. He does look asleep. And now he's still. So I don't, like, I don't know what to do. What do I do? Honestly, being a mum is just trial and error. Like, literally, we're all winging it. We're all winging this mum life. Um, but yeah. Maybe I'll leave him for a minute, but all I could hear just then was like Tilly downstairs going, hello, Teddy upstairs going, wow, and Noah going, wow, and it was just, it was a lot. It was very sensory overload. Anyway, I have had a really productive morning this morning. I've unpacked, got loads of washing done, just like general house bits and bobs. Um, I'm just currently putting Noah's clothes away in the nursery. I'm really trying she says. <laughs> Trying to keep his wardrobe really organised, whereas, you know, 
it doesn't look organized right now i've just popped this in here because we took this out the other day so that was kind of just like me popping in there but i'm trying to like fold up his things in here every time i put them away um just because it's it, i feel i feel good to have a bit of organization in my life um but actually i had a h&m delivery waiting for me when i got home i only got a few little bits um but oh my goodness like h&m baby wear is just my favorite they honestly do the cutest clothes and part of me is like do i do i buy noah like these really cute clothes at the moment because he's growing at rapid pace um or do I kind of wait till he's a little bit bigger and he can wear them for longer? But I'm like, do you know what? I can't resist. So I just got a few little bits. Um, this is so cute. I got this sweater with little dinosaurs on. I love it so much. And it says, um, curious friend. It also says little brosaurus. So I'm not sure if this is like for a little brother or whether that's just like something cute written on there but i thought this was really sweet um and it's very lightweight as well and it's also um nine to twelve months now noah is only you know not even two months yet so this will probably fit him like in a few months but i wanted it to be like quite an oversized fit so i got him that and then i also as well this is so cute i got him this little loungewear set again cute dinosaur curious friend so cute i love these um color block bits and bobs at the moment i think they're really cool so i've got that sweater and it comes with these little joggers thought that'd be a nice little set just for when it gets a little bit colder and when it's autumn i can't wait i've got autumn on the mind guys like i'm not gonna lie as soon as it gets to july i'm like right pumpkin spice where you at and the last thing i got from h&m was just these cute socks all different types of socks for noah all different colors we've got some nice green ones in there um like brown kind of like earthy tones and i just thought these would go with all of his clothes and yeah super cute oh i forgot about this oh this was like under everything so i didn't see it i got this little hat it says have a great day and also as well i had a mama's and papa's delivery i just got a few little bits from there that i needed so i got this to go on noah's car seat and also on his pram because he's kind of like he's getting like engaged with things like i find he he really does like look at things a lot longer now and i just thought this would be nice to have especially like in the car he can have it on his car seat um so this bit goes round obviously the um roll bar and then the bar on the pram thought that was nice and then i also as well just got an umbrella for the pram because it is a nightmare without one of these if you try and go out um to give your baby some shade like it's just so so hard so definitely need one of these but i won't put it up indoors because that's bad luck but just got a little like parasol umbrella just to go on his pram so he can have lots of shade yeah whilst noe is having a little nap i'm going to show you guys um our new bits and our girl of muse collection because when you actually see this video it would have just launched which is so exciting so i'll leave the link down below you can go and shop our new pieces please be quick because these are some pieces you guys have been asking for for a really long time and i feel like they're just gonna go um so i am gonna try them on for you now and like talk about the sizing um and the fit and properly show you our new pieces can i just say our girl of news packaging is also a great cat bed teddy and tilly absolutely love <laughs> going in here don't you it's one of your favorite things okay starting with the ribbed set of dreams so we've got the crop and also the leggings now this whole like set the material everything about it has taken us over a year to develop because there was a certain material that i've always 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 wanted especially a pair of leggings in um that was just super stretchy ribbed body contouring smoothing flattering that wasn't see-through um and also like ultra high-waisted and have just never ever ever been able 
to find that and I feel like that's the most amazing thing about having your own clothing brand that you can literally like create pieces that you've always dreamt of finding and yeah the material was so hard to find because it's a really just like soft buttery ribbed fabric first of all we have the leggings these are ultra high-waisted you guys know I am all about the like as high waisted as I can possibly get because I just find them so comfortable again so flattering and also as well when creating these I made the waistband this this like band here like twice as thick because I've always like I always find like a small thin waistband kind of chops you in half whereas because this one is just so thick it literally like nips you in at the middle and just I feel like gives you such a gorgeous silhouette and then paired with the crop as well so the crop also as well has a thick waistband here so wearing these two together like this part here I feel like almost works as a little bit of a it gives me like corset vibes um, and it just feels so nice to wear I'm also not wearing a bra with this um, because like I said the material is just so magical that it just like holds everything in place it sucks you in and yeah it's just it's I'm obsessed guys if you if you can't already tell um, we've got long sleeves also the neckline as well is very very flattering it's a round neck but it's also like a tiny little bit raised so I feel like it gives that just like really lovely feminine neckline. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I am so happy we've finally been able to create this because this is like an absolute wardrobe essential. I actually wear a size medium in both. I would say with these sets, um, with Girl of Muse sizing, we have done a lot of oversized things. So like our sizing is usually like very oversized whereas with the leggings and crops stick to your normal size because like I said they are designed to be a little bit more like shapewear a little bit tighter so yeah stick to your normal size but I am completely and utterly obsessed <laughs> with this set I just oh my god it's gonna look so good under like a blazer when it like gets to autumn blazer and trainers and maybe like a cap um, it could also be worn as well as like gym wear totally wear this to the gym and I think it would look so so nice then our ribbed leggings and crop also come in the sandstone shade which matches some of our other pieces in our soul collection as well. you can mix and match so many different items to make them like matching sets so you could pair the crop with the sandstone shorts that we have or the leggings with the sandstone t-shirt or the half zip or the full zip or the sweater so there's loads that you can mix and match I feel like on this color you can really see just how thick that waistband is and how flattering that's going to be and then also with the crop as well nice thick waistband I feel like that's my favorite one of my favorite things about this set like I said it's just so incredibly body shaping and flattering another item that I've just been absolutely dreaming of creating is a neutral flannel shirt now this is like the softest again most gorgeous material these are very oversized so I would say stick to your normal size for like a super oversized fit so for example this is a medium and you can see this is very slouchy and oversized if you prefer your shirts to be not fitted because like i said these are an oversized fit if you prefer them to be not as big go down a size but definitely don't go up a size because you do not need to um so yeah these are amazing we've got the branded buttons Girl of Muse buttons on here, which were amazing. We've got a nice structured collar. And then the rest of it is just super floaty and like oversized. We've got dropped shoulders. So of course you can wear this as an overshirt. So you can chuck it over a matching set. You can chuck it over a bikini, over um, shorts and a crop. Like it's the most perfect summer essential. But I actually love to wear this done up almost as a little bit of a shirt dress. Um, it's long enough to not have to wear shorts underneath. That was something really important when designing this. I really wanted something that was long enough to wear as a shirt dress because that's like one of my favorite things to wear but yeah like I said I wear a size medium and it's the most gorgeous oversized fit and this is our flannel shirt in the neutral check 
I feel like this is actually my favourite and I've just got this on with the sandstone set. I love this shirt and leggings together. I think they just look so nice. Is this shirt just not the most perfect pumpkin picking shirt? Like, just imagine it's a crisp autumn morning, sunny, you know, one of those sunny crisp autumn mornings that I feel like we all crave and you're on your way to go pumpkin picking. I feel like this is just absolutely perfect. And I've just buttoned it up as well so you guys can kind of see how it sits if you were to wear this as a shirt dress. But yeah, let me know what you managed to pick up or what your favorite piece is in the comments down below. Good afternoon, everyone. I have spent the morning trying to piece together this vlog because it's been like an actual jigsaw puzzle. Um, I feel like it's just been all over the place and very disjointed. But yeah, this has been my first attempt at a weekly vlog since obviously having Noah and mum life is extremely full on, like genuinely so full on and just like, like I can't believe where the time goes in the day. Like honestly, the days absolutely fly by, but then also as well, it's really weird because the days almost seem like they all roll into one. Because I'm getting up in the night, <laughs> it feels like my day is just rolling and it never really, like one day doesn't end and the next one begins. Like it kind of just rolls into one. And I do sometimes feel like I am nappy feed, wash bottles, make bottles, do washing, repeat. I do feel like that's kind of my life right now. And yeah, I'm just trying to find the balance between mum life and obviously like vlogging and stuff, which I feel like is gonna take a little bit of adjusting. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it nevertheless. It's been lovely to catch up as always. Um, we've got some really fun bits and bobs happening over the next few months, of course as well. Autumn is just around the corner. I know we're like midsummer right now, but the weather's kind of like, it feels quite cold today. Like it's actual sweater weather today. Um, it's like 18 degrees, which is like absolute perfection for me. Any hotter than that. And I just want to shrivel up in the shade. Um, but yeah, like autumn is around the corner. Apparently TK Maxx have got in like their autumn stuff. So I might venture over to there next week obviously i'll take you guys along um but yeah we've got some exciting things happening over the next few months the best months of the year are just around the corner the burr months september october november december are the months i live for they're the months that come alive this sounds really ridiculous but what gets me through the summer is those months what gets me through the hot weather is those months and i'm like it's okay Gemma, you can do this you can do this because the burrs are coming. I'm gonna try and have a video for you guys every single Sunday, which is very exciting. I'm looking forward to be back in, like back, what am I saying? I'm looking forward to like slowly getting back into a routine and catching up with you like weekly. It's been really weird like the past, kind of like six to eight weeks where I haven't been uploading as regular. It felt really strange. It's felt like a huge, a huge like part of my life has been missing. So. Yeah, looking forward to catching up with you weekly. And yeah, like I said, sorry this vlog has been a bit all over the place, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, don't forget, Girl of Muse new collection is now live. Sorry, Noe, made him jump then when I hit the bed. Um, yeah, it's now live, so link will be down below. Let me know what you pick up. Um, very, very exciting, and I can't wait for you to see our autumn collection. We also have something coming in autumn that isn't clothes. It's something that you've been asking for for a really long time and it's taken a really long time to get it right. I can't wait. You're gonna, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna absolutely love it. Um, let me know what you think it might be. Yeah, love you all so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye from Noe as well.